So how do you break those bad habits that are killing you? I mean, what do you do when your doctor says you must establish healthy habits now if you want to live? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how. But first, you've got to know that this isn't even your fault. See, when you were small, you were kind of like a little duck that imprints on its mom. You looked to everyone in your environment, and you just did exactly what they were doing. So you picked up these unhealthy habits. And all a habit is, is something that you practice over and over again until it becomes unconscious. And that's fine for things like tying your shoes and driving a car. I think we'd all say those are fine habits. But for things that are unhealthy, that are damaging your health, it's not okay. And I see many intelligent, wonderful, independent adults, right, who are wanting to break those bad habits that they had as kids. And I'm a hypnotherapist, so all of those habits, they're in the subconscious, and that's where I work, so it makes sense. It's a very easy process. And so these are the things that I'm going to teach you that you can use. So these three things, know that I'm going to give them in the context of living a vitally healthy life and changing those kinds of habits. But know that these three steps, they can be used for anything, anytime, anywhere. So, and they work a charm. So first is first, you've got to establish the positive outcome. So thinking of what it is that you want and in positive terms. So your mind is going to do exactly what it thinks you want. So you're going to tell your mind, I want to feel healthy. I want to shed this weight. I'm excited to eat these healthy foods to nourish my body. I can't wait to feel energetic again. I can't wait to, for the life. I'm, I so want to live fully healthy so that I can enjoy my life with my family. And you see that positive outcome and your mind goes, all right, I get it. And that's in stark opposition to what people often do, which is something like, I just don't want to feel so terrible anymore. I have to get rid of this fat. I don't want to feel sick anymore. Like the, fo the focus on what you don't want doesn't work. First of all, your mind's kind of like a faulty computer in that it doesn't hear don't don't want, right? It doesn't get the no part. All it hears is that you're focusing on, you know, fat, fat um, energy, feeling, you know, feeling terrible, bad, you know, feeling depressed, whatever those things are that you no longer want. It just sees what you're focused on. So it gives you more of those feelings, which is not leading you towards that vital health, right? So focus on what you want in a positive outcome and write it down put it out where you can see it so that you can remind yourself because it's not just what comes out of your mouth it's what's going on between your ears so that step two is you've got to establish the, some of those actions right you've actually got to take the action that will result in the outcome and this shouldn't be a problem you've probably done this before you you know you've come up with a healthy eating plan or the type of exercise that you'd like to do and maybe you got yourself a great big water cup right and you started but for some reason it didn't stick that's because you didn't have the next piece the next piece that is so crucial and works a charm is while you are taking that action you gotta lie to your brain you have to tell it that you love this that you're excited for it, that you're enthusiastic, that you're delighted to drink that green smoothie because it's going to nourish your body and help you to restore and renew, that you can't wait to wake up in the morning and go and do that exercise, that you are excited to uh, get that gallon of water a day into you because you can't wait to see how much better you feel. You're excited for it. You tell your mind, again, in stark opposition to Mm, I've got to have this green swamp smoothie instead of what I really want, which is all of that over there, or whatever that is. Or oh, I dread going to the gym. I dread getting up early, but I have to do this because my doctor says. Or any of those things, my friend. No. Your mind will lead you away 
from what it thinks that you don't want. It leads you towards what you want and away from what you won't. So if you have any of those things going on, your mind will never allow you to establish that good healthy habit. So you've got to circumvent it. You've got to lie to it. And it at first, it's going to feel weird, but it works so good. It's amazing. You tell your mind what you want, health. You tell your mind that you love the steps that you're taking while you're doing them, and you tell it. Number Step number three, this is the magic wand. This is how these habits, these, that's how these, these healthy things become habits really, really fast. And step number three is that you celebrate. And this might sound a little goofy, and I don't care, because your mind has no doubt what you mean when you do things like, woohoo! I'm amazing, I'm the best, I'm so proud of me, I'm great, I did it, I walked that mile, I ate great today, woohoo! When you literally celebrate, and you can celebrate just like that, I don't care how goofy it seems, because your mind will have no doubt. And if you want to be a little lower key, or if you like to make things different, I'll give you another way that you can celebrate, okay? And that is, you can have a celebration jar. So you literally fill a jar with things that you love to do. And then when you do, and, and you're celebrating any kind of win. I don't care if you chose that cup of tea instead of the soda that you might have chosen before. I mean, a cup of good, you know, hot tea, herbal tea, something without sugars. But I mean, when I say tea, not sweet tea. Um, <laughs> so I, it could be something like that. You know what? I chose tea instead of soda good on me, I'm amazing, I'm pulling from the jar, and whatever that is. Whatever that thing is for you, it could be a hot bubble bath, it could be uh, planning a trip, I don't care what it looks like. It could be finding a delicious, you know, low carb, low sugar, but delicious, healthy dessert, because you deserve it, right? Anything like that in that jar, a celebration jar. When you do stuff like this, your brain has no doubt. No doubt, because number one, it's going to lead you towards what you want, and number two, it leads you to pleasure. So when you're going woohoo, when you're telling your mind, I love this, it has no doubt it's going to get right behind you. It will dissolve all resistance to these things that you're doing immediately, and it becomes a habit. When it gets into your subconscious, when your subconscious mind does all of the heavy lifting for you, you become unstoppable. And this works incredibly well. See, all of those good habits that you've established, they now, they now become familiar. Your mind leads you towards what's familiar. And those bad habits, well, they become unfamiliar. And they just, you know, kind of are erased, eradicated, eliminated. They no longer affect you or your health. You did it. And you know what? You may have established some habits in the past and you say, you know what? That's, that is what I did. Isn't that great? I can see how that worked. And for you, you may be thinking to yourself, will this work for these other areas of my life? And the answer is absolutely yes. If you've done it before, if you've established habits in other areas of your life that you're proud of, you can do that for any other area at all. See, your life is totally a result of your habits. So you have the ability to completely transform your life. And right now, you're no longer a little duck imprinting upon the world, right? You're an independent adult. As a child, you're literally in hypnosis and just picking up everything around you, building those beliefs about yourself and your place in the world. As an adult, you have a choice. You have a choice of what you let in, of what you choose, of how you choose to respond in the world. So you have the ability to completely transform your life with the tools that I've just given you. And if you'd like my help, I would be thrilled to help you to supercharge your results. And you can reach out to me. I'm Melanie Militix. I'm a rapid transformational hypnotherapist and a medical hypnotherapist. And I can help you to break bad habits, establish healthy ones in record time faster than you might even believe. So I look forward to helping you to live your best life ever.